We're here at the wonderful church of All Hallows in uh, Gospel Oak, North London, uh, where we've done many recordings before. And today we're recording a new work called Footsteps by Owen Park, a very talented young composer. And we've commissioned him to write a new work to go alongside Joby Talbot's Path of Miracles, something of a choral odyssey. There is a part cleverly written in Footsteps which gives us the opportunity to perform with choirs of all varying abilities and shapes and sizes. We are recording it today with the National Youth Choir Fellows, eight fantastic singers uh, directed by Ben Parry who've sung that part in for us and it's been great fun working with them. We will be touring it as part of our 15th anniversary season with as many choirs as would like to come and sing with us. So it's a very exciting opportunity to get to meet and to work with choirs uh, all over the place. Every performance will be unique um, and different and that, that, that's exciting for the performer and the listener. They're never going to uh, achieve the same product but actually overall the piece is, is um, its own entity. Owen himself is a singer and he really understands how singers work, how to bring the best out of them. And I think the way that he's brought together his original, and it is an original compositional voice um, for the forces of Tenebrae, knowing the strengths of Nigel's group, uh, has proved very successful. When I look back over the 15 years, one of the most exciting things was putting together the commission by Joby Talbot, The Path of Miracles. And owing to circumstances beyond anybody's control and you know, a good degree of tragedy, the piece didn't really have the most ideal premiere. It was set for July the 7th, 2005, the day of the London bombings. So in fact, the performance was postponed in a way, I feel this is fulfilling a lost opportunity that we experienced in those early days. And it still is seminal work for the group. It, it shows us off in all the best possible ways. Thinking back to the first performances of the Talbot, and I think we all knew that we were doing something, which at the time, I think it's fair to say, no other choir could really have contemplated doing. I think these, these will lead to really exciting, intense concerts, but ones which are as rewarding and stimulating as they are intense and be great things to see, to sing in and of course to listen to. It feels like absolutely the right thing to do for our 15th anniversary to resurrect it and have this great reminder of just what we've managed to achieve in 15 years that have absolutely flown by.